Today, I want to talk about one specific thing in seasonal discovery. Incursions. They've been very controversial. Some people like them, and a lot of people hate them. But are they bad for the game? Are people just complaining for any reason and they're actually good? Let's talk about it. So, proud to have from of this. Go my Ko fi if you want to support me. And let's get into it. So, first of all, why do people do incursions? People do incursions because of gold, right? Experience and, of course, reputation. There's good things to gain from them. They are good for leveling up, they're good for getting gold because, well, you do need them for consumes, for raids. Of course, they are good for reputation for items that are very, very good. And the Reddit also has been, you know, they've been thinking about, oh, is it good? Is it bad? Uh, and look, you know, there's some good arguments either side. You know, look at this. Uh, there's dream incursions were a great idea, but executed poorly. Pretty good, you know, like it's a little bit of everything, right? Uh, but I want to talk about all the possibilities, all the reasons. The first one I think I want to talk about is, well, the negatives. Because I think a lot of people do think they're overall uh, a negative thing. Uh, so, I want to say first, the uh, they're too repetitive. Uh, they are, they are. They just, you're just literally running around doing the same quest over and over and over again. You usually do the same runs as well because they're the, uh, you know, they're their best um, gold per hour, right? The best experience per hour. Why would you go and kill the bosses when you can just go in there, do the intelligence parts and just, you know, not care about anything, right? You just go in there, you, you go fast, five minutes, 10 minutes, Boom, you got all of your experience. This same thing applies to gold and of course rep as well, right? Um, so it ends up being this like farm that you always, you know, just mindlessly do over and over again. And of course, this is a good thing in some ways because, well, they're just quests and you want it to be a bit accessible and easy because you want people to, um, you know, level up their characters very fast to go get gold very fast so they don't, you know, feel like they're pushed to buy gold in an RMT website. Uh, but also this makes it so the whole um, the whole rest of the world feels a bit like you shouldn't go there. Like why would you go and farm certain uh, you know professions, certain minerals, certain herbs when you can just do the same loop over and over again or watch Netflix on the other side and get the same amount of gold or even more? What's the point? And I think that is one of the biggest issues. It is a good idea and it solves a lot of the issues that uh, world. Of World of Warcraft Classic has, uh, but it also creates more, right? And in some ways, it makes the rest of World of Warcraft Classic feel like it's not classic anymore, right? Another problem is the share quest system. The way that it works, the way that you have to go in there and, you know, you can just click on your quest log and, sh and press share. You have to use an item specifically that has five charges for one hour. What the fuck? <laughs> and the, the whole inventory is just completely filled with those things all the time. It's just, it's just horrible, okay? I just want to do some quests, some, you know, just some, some loops, easy. Uh, and I can't because I'm just fucking clicking and clicking and clicking and opening and deleting items so I can have a room. It's, like, ah, it's just fucking annoying. Just fucking annoying. Uh, it's, it's horrible, honestly. It's, it's just, it sucks, okay? I don't know what to say. Uh, <laughs> the, um, the other part, the only important part, I think, is that there's a lot of PP going on in here, right? There is. Because everyone's doing the same incursions over and over again in the same spots because, well, they're the best. Yeah, that means that there's going to be a lot of conflict. Now, this for me is a very, very weird argument because, well, if you're playing in a PvP server, why the fuck would you not enjoy this? Isn't this kind of the point? You're playing PvP in a PvP server. You should be wanting to PvP you against other people. It apparently is... I'm all... I guess... People wouldn't pretty like this, but you know, there's you know, there's not that many ways to get honor right now, so it ends up being like one of the best ways, which is kind of, it's kind of sad, I guess, because a lot of people don't like them. They would rather do other other type of things like battle guns or whatever. But I guess it is what it is, and that means that you know, people are essentially camping this uh, this sites. But like, it just I don't know. Like I feel like if you really don't like PP, you probably shouldn't be doing. <laughs> You probably shouldn't be in a PvP server if you're complaining about incursions having PvP. For me, I always found it that uh, because I did like PvP in open world, found it like a good thing because it seems to be like a good organic way of creating PvP situations while you're doing quests. The problem I do think is the, you know the way the the way that the quests work because they're just the same one, same ones every time. If there was like a variation 
of the ones that you can actually get and you couldn't get every one of them all the time, I think it would be way better. If you just had to like do, you know, you get three quests and you can only get those three quests and you have to go and do your own route, it would be so much easier because, well, and well, assuming that they would give you the same gold, right? It was super cool because you would just go in there, do those three quests, go back, who knows what you're going to get next. And of course, not everyone's going to do the same, doing the same route over and over again. Uh, and that means that there's not going to be these spots where everyone just ganks each other, right? It will be way more, uh, you know, way more spread, way more organical, way more interesting. Uh, but of course, that's not what we have here. Um, now, the good things I do think is that, and I did mention this a little bit, um, is that, you know, they're very nice for PvP, for, uh, sorry, for level up, right? You have a new alt, you can just go to incursions easily, fast. You're not really having to quest. You have other options that to just dungeon grind over and over again, uh, which a lot of people complain about. You can still quest if you want to. Uh, of course, it's going to be, um, oh, it's going to be less of a, of a possibility, right? But it's still going to be an option, right? You can definitely do that. Uh, you can still dungeon grind if you want to, but they have another thing, so you're not essentially almost like feeling stupid for questing or not dungeon grinding because you're wasting your time. This is honestly a very good choice. It's a very, very good choice. And I think that's definitely a good thing. Uh, just, you know, probably implemented poorly in some ways. Uh, it's a nice way to get a gold for me, especially for casuals, I think, that don't know a lot of the game and how to make gold in, 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 in Classic. You can just go in, do some loops, very accessible. Everybody knows that these are good for gold. You get your golds for consumes like that. And isn't that nice? Isn't that great? And sure, it probably will create some sort of inflation. But let's be real. I mean, that was going to probably happen anyways. And by probably doing quests and other types of um, content. And, you know, you do need in some ways... Uh, you need you need a few ways of making gold. And, like, actually the liquid gold, no materials that you're going to sell to other people. Uh, because otherwise the casual players, and honestly, Classic is a game that is very casual, will, will probably just... <laughs> they will RMT, okay? They're gonna see that they have to, you know, spend like 50 gold to get consumed for the raid, and, and they're gonna be like, I, I can't, I don't I, ah! And they're just gonna, they're gonna freak out, they're gonna leave, right? Or however much heavier gold you need right now. I actually haven't played this week. <laughs> but, yeah, like, you know, that that is definitely... Um, it's a good, I think it's a good thing. I think it's a good thing to give these players some sort of way of actually, um, you know, easily get gold and not really think about it. Even if maybe it's not even the best way of making gold. I'm sure there are insanely better ways than to getting gold than just incursions. I, I, I'm sure there are, but there are probably not that many people that know about them. Uh, and you probably have to dig in there and check. Uh, and also, I do think PvP, honestly, it's a good thing. I think it's good that there are certain spots in the open world where people go to PvP at. Yeah, I think uh, I think that's nice. I think that's good. And I, I know it's poorly executed, but the ideas are here. The um, the intentions are here, and I think that is definitely important. And I hope, I really do hope, that Blizzard uh, and the Classic team, which I do think they really care about the game, find a good way of learning the things that happened here and doing something about them. Uh, I really do hope so. But tell me what you guys think. Tell me you think I'm insane. Tell me you think I'm right. Tell me you think I'm wrong. And uh, see you guys around. Love you all. Uh, go to my Twitch. My YouTube. Well, that's my other YouTube. For Guild Wars 2. But eh. And go to my coffee if you want to support me. Look at that. Is it right there? Isn't that crazy? Alright. See you guys around. Love you all. Bye-bye.